poor, poor van. Now it's easy to see the problem. Well, now I gotta get out that rusty pig. Ooh, look at the bad frame on this van. Ooh, look at that frame, it's horrible. Oh yeah, this is really bad. Surprisingly, the gas tank's still good. Hanging out, it looks horrible. Oh well, who needs it? We'll have to wreck. Well, that's the end of that useless piece of shit. Oh my god. Look at this shit that came out of that gas tank. That's rusty water underneath all that gas. Ew. Automobile puke. Ew. That's after a hard night of drinking pond water. No wonder the fuel pump went bad. Well, it would suck in that crap in. Well, I got a box of various tubings, rubber and metal, and a 20 liter plastic pail, so that's how I'm going to make my redneck gas tank. You got to pry the lid off and drill some holes in it. Well, now I got a selection of fuel pumps I got to choose to put inside this pail that I got the lid peeled off of. Now that I've chosen a suitable fuel pump out of the pile, I have attached a fuel line to it. And it's marked on here positive and negative, and the gray one is positive, black one is negative. That's important. If your fuel pump runs the wrong direction, it doesn't pump fuel. So now I've got to select the right size drill bit that's close to the same diameter as my hose so I can drill a couple holes in the top of my tank one for input one for output all fuel injected cars have a output and a return tube for the unused fuel pressure alrighty we're making our holes and I'll make another one and now, and then I think that'll do. So, shove her through. There we go. Now we make this long enough that it's going to hang down and just about touch the bottom. So, that looks good right there. Now the return tube, it just has to hang down and stick in a little bit, and that's all. Well, there's the return tube, that little short one. The two tubes are sticking out enough to attach the metal tube to. Now I've got to drill two wire holes to go through here to extend the wires. Now some wires to add. There we go, ready for reassembly. A few more rats, fuel pumps wired, wires are coming through the holes in the top. Now I just have to plunk this back together, step on the lid and it snaps back together, and then that's where I can fill it and cap it when I'm done. There, all done. Now I just gotta test it. Got a handy Honda battery. The one wire on there. Yeah, and that sounds like she's a good one. Redneck gas system is all hooked up and intact. Motor's a little wet because I purged the fuel line that feeds the motor and lots of rusty water came out. So I don't know how well this thing's going to start if it does with water in the injectors. And you can see some of the water sitting on top of the gas. I have this jerk going to start it for me. Say hello world jerk. Hi. Hi, okay. Are you really? Are you? How did you get high? Did you get high when I was out buying gas? No. Oh, you said you were high. <laughs> Anyways, see if it starts. Yes! Yes! Okay, 
Okay, see if it drives. This thing has a problem of leaking tranny oil, so the tranny oil may have leaked out. Maiden Voyage 2008. Yeah! What a lovely automobile. Okay. Go a little faster. Sweet as can be. Works fine. You gotta love your dodges. It's a sweet. Get, punch the gas. Hit her hard. She's got balls.